okay, we're back. And now I and now I have for you the second worst exercise that you can do for your shoulder. And what it is is any type of pressing movement, specifically a shoulder press. So a lot of times the typical technique is moving out to the side, making sure I'm right at the end range of pressing up as high as I can. I come back down and pressing as high as I can and come back down. And now let me kind of explain to you why that ends up being, you know, a brutal exercise to do. And it's going to end up damaging your shoulder and leading to shoulder pain. What, we, what ends up happening is that in that movement is I end up moving my shoulder joint into end range. So it's the very end, the end that I can end up doing. And, and then I end up loading up that end range. So loading up a joint in end range ends up putting unnecessary stress on that joint, ends up reshaping that joint in the wrong way, increasing the risk of shoulder pain and shoulder injury. The second thing is a lot of people just don't have that range in their shoulder in order to do it properly, that shoulder press movement properly. Now, of course, there's kind of a safe way that you can end up doing it in order to get the benefits from the exercise, but end up making, you know, making your shoulder happy with the exercise. So what I can end up doing is Instead of going right at the side, if I move into scaption, so scaption ends up being, instead of straight out to the side, if I move forward about 30 degrees, you'll even feel it on yourself, it just feels like a better position, smoother position, an easier position to move. And then I end up doing the pressing movement. So instead of ends, I end up, I end up coaching, that I'll end up doing corners. So I come up, press corners, come back, press corners, and come back, as opposed to being at that very end where I can feel like I'm stretching and ripping and pulling the shoulder. So moving it from out to the side, moving it about 30 degrees, instead of ends going corners, I'm still ending up working my shoulder, but I put the shoulder in a happier position and a safer position and a light, light, less likely position for it to end up being injured and uh, lead to shoulder pain. So that is the second worst exercise for you when it comes to the shoulder. I'll be back in a second and give you the third worst 